It's no accident that sounds like you're leveling up in a video game. 48% of 18 to 29 year olds have an online dating profile. Make them work for it. 45% of people say they're more frustrated with this form of dating than hopeful. There are so many people you can connect with. Should I swipe right? Swipe wrong. Swipe wrong. Setting the record straight on dating apps. Everyday people telling everyday stories of the swipe right world with your host, Chaos. Well, I know he had a good time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or even good night, just depending on when you're catching up on the podcast. Welcome to the Swipe Wrong Podcast. Uh, you guys uh, all know by now it is the number one podcast among females, 29 to 29 and a half in Wichita County. So, true or not true, I'm not sure, but I am chaos. How you guys doing so far? Did you enjoy everything that, uh, that you're hearing and hopefully just understanding as we talk about, uh, you're not the only ones that are going through the uh, craziness of the dating scene and and hopefully uh, you're like yeah okay cool there's just there's a lot of crazy that's out there and i don't have to worry about it all on my own so as we're as we're between seasons and working on things uh you know uh i know jay popped on and uh told you guys his favorite episode and now it's time for my favorite episode and i you know i this was tough for me at first i had one in mind and then I was like, no, no, I think I'm going to go to a different one. It was, it was hard. I loved, I loved my conversation with my sister and date like a dude. I loved that one. That was my, that's what I thought was my favorite. But the more I got to it and the more I thought about it, I was like, this is just an unbelievable story. Like if, if I didn't know the guy and it was just some random person, I'd be like, you're fucking with me. There is no way this is this is something that actually happened to somebody. Uh, and it, so I'm going to go with the uh, with Gone Catfishing as, as my favorite episode, uh, just because the story, like I said, the story, it, the fact that it, it spans over a couple of years and it's just so coincidental that, uh, well, if you haven't heard it, I guess I should shut up. I'm sure you have. But in case you haven't. I'm going to be quiet and, and just let you guys listen. Uh, but as we're working on, we've got a couple episodes uh, pretty close to in the can for uh, the next season. Uh, so if you do want to share yours, uh, you guys know uh, how to get a hold of us. Swipe wrong pod at Gmail. There's a phone number. You know, we have it all uh, at the end of the episode. You'll hear it. So but uh, yeah, like I loved everybody I talked to. I mean, it's just like, to me, it was one of the most fascinating things just to hear. Cause like, think about it. Like the, most of the stuff that I hear from people is dating's changed so much than it did 10 years ago. And you know, there's the, you're only as, as, uh, you have so many options. Uh, like the, the, one of the best analogies I think we put out there is it's fast food dating. I mean, it's just like you go up, there's a menu and you kind of go from there and, and a loyalty isn't as much as it used to be, it seems like. But there's still so many success stories, which, you know, we need maybe need to do a better job of incorporating as well. But I'll keep it short. I'll keep it simple. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy. If you're in traffic, don't hit that person next to you. Grab your popcorn uh, and in- enjoy my favorite episode uh, from uh, Gone Catfishing. How did you end up getting catfished? <laughs> uh, so this is probably back... I don't know how many years ago. So I was dating Jen the first time. Okay. So this is probably 10 years ago or so. Okay. And uh, we had just broken up and I lived on 86th Street, like uh, Lake Castleton, not Lake Castleton, the place where homes used to live. Oh, I know. You're across from the old Fox and the House. Yeah, yeah. Literally yeah. across yeah. the street. That's Castleton. So like my, Castleton my move. Ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, so my move was to get girls go there you know it'd be easy to go home <laughs> straight from the fox and the hound right yeah, yeah. so I, like, I literally back then i didn't like uh, i would drink a lot more than i used to so i'm like i don't like to drink and drive so i would <laughs> i'd always walk home you know so i'm like it's perfect for me because if it works out it works out if it doesn't yeah no, no big deal i just walk home it's across the street you know and so at this point i'm on tinder and uh, i swipe right on a beautiful looking chick like to the point where i'm like really like it looks a bit fake. And th- again, this is like before, like I had even heard of like what catfishing was. Okay. Um, 
And so <laughs> I, I say, hey, I'm gonna go meet you there, like at seven o'clock work, and she's like, yeah. And uh, so I'm like, cool. You know, I get there, seven o'clock, <clears throat> waiting around, 15 minutes go by. I uh, get back on, because we didn't exchange numbers, which is kind of weird to me, but whatever. Sure. Some people are, you know, in, you know, different about it, so I'm like, cool. So I get on back on Tinder, and I'm like, hey, where you at? Uh, I've been waiting here, you know. Biggest pet peeve of mine is for like someone to be like really late to a date. So I'm annoyed, you know. <laughs> so I'm waiting, and she's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on 465 right now. There's a lot of traffic." And I'm like, "Okay, cool, whatever." Right. And uh, so I get a beer, you know. I'm just chilling there. 30 minutes goes by, and I'm like, "Okay, what the hell? You, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. why are you this late? Traffic's not that bad. It's seven o'clock, 7:30 now." And she's like, I'm so sorry. She's like, I had to stop and get gas. Like, give me another like 30 minutes and I'll be there. And I was like, an hour? And I'm like, no, you know, <laughs> like not gonna happen. So like at this point, like I'm cashing out <clears throat> and I'm like, I'm, I'm leaving. Like, nice talking to you, but this is not my, my thing. Like, I would just never do that to somebody, you know? Sure. I'd cancel before I tell them to wait somewhere for an hour. She Francisco you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, yeah, yeah. But, um, so I leave, and as I leave, uh, like I'm walking back, she's like, I'm at the bar, where are you at? And I'm like, what? What is going on? And so, turn around, because I'm in the parking lot, you know, walking back, and I go sit down at the bar. There's not a single girl in this bar, because it's Fox and the Hound, and they close for a reason. You know, like, no one was there. There was like three guys, you, you know, and there are three guys, like old guys, like sitting at the bar. Um, I don't know if I, nah, probably didn't notice the dude. But uh, I think, well, I'll, I'll just tell the story. So I leave and I'm pissed. Cause I'm like, all right, now I'm being fucked with, you know? So I'm like being like, you know, fuck you. Like, I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but like, this is bullshit. Like, I don't treat people like this. I expect not to be treated like this. Next thing I know, give it like 30 minutes. I get probably a hundred text messages from gay people. What? Asking where they could meet me for like fellatio and shit like that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not fucking joking, man. And so like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop walking for a second. All right. But yeah, like I was like flabbergasted. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And you know, I, I was still friends with Jen after we broke up, so I, I kind of told her what was going on, and she's like, someone put your name on Craigslist or something. And so, like, sure enough, I Google my phone number on Craigslist, and it's like, we'll suck cock. Oh, you, you know? my God. So, went, so this person put an ad on Craigslist, essentially saying I would give free head to people. And so, like, I mean a hundred. I mean, like, so many. I'm like, oh, my God. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to change my phone number. Like, this is never going to end. You know, so I start texting this bitch back. I'm like, what the fuck did you do? Cause I gave her my number cause right. I, yeah, but I don't have her number, right. you know? So I'm like, what did you do? Why would you do that? Like what a horrible fucking human being you must be like, go kill your, I think I said go kill yourself. Cause right. I was so pissed and I was like 22, right. you know, but like it was so bad. It just would not stop for like three days straight. Oh. You know, like I tried to contact, like I tried to email Craigslist and they didn't do shit, right, obviously. Of course not. But I'm like, I'm just going to change my phone number. But I, eventually it stopped, so I didn't, I didn't actually change my phone number. Oh my God. So that was like one of the worst things I had experienced online dating oh. way back when. And then now let's just fast forward like three years because the story gets even weirder because... I had, and the reason why I remember this day is because I thought I had lung cancer. Oh, yeah. And so I remember I had chest pains and eventually it didn't turn out to be nothing. Well, actually, it eventually turned out to be I had a broken rib that looked like a, a lump in my lung, oh, but apparently, apparently it healed funny. Okay. So, like, they gave me, like, a, a chest x-ray and they're like, there's a spot on your lung. And like, they kind of insinuated that it was cancer. And I'm like, back then I didn't even smoke or anything, you know, and I don't really you know like at least not like cigarettes or anything so it was kind of weird and i'm like oh my god i'm gonna die you know i'm like i'm like freaking out about everything 
I remember, like, I think I told Parsons about it, too. I think you told me about it, because it sounds familiar. Probably. Yeah. But, um, so I was in the hospital for, like, three hours, and they fi finally gave me, like, a, either a CAT scan, CT scan, some kind of scan that actually looked at it. And they're like, yeah, it's part of your rib. And I'm like, oh, you fuckers, you yeah. probably should have, like, led with that. Like, maybe it's not cancer, you know? Because yeah. I was like, well, is it cancer? And they're like, uh, it, it looks like it, you know? Because it just freaked me out. And once I found out it wasn't, and they're like, yeah, you probably broke your ribs. And they're like, you ever have any broken ribs? And I was like, not that I know of, but whatever. Yeah. And so I decide, like, well, I'm going to get drunk now because I thought I was dying of cancer. Sure. And so we go to Kip's Pub on 96th Street in Allisonville. And me, me, Petsky, Jenny went, and we were just all having beers. And I was getting drunk, as I used to do frequently. Uh, we're playing pool. Like, I remember going to the bar. And there's, like, people up there. This was back when e-cigs first came out. Okay. And people would modify them. I don't know if you remember that, but, like, they would inhale and exhale. And it looked like a dragon smoke being blown out. It was, like, crazy shit. All over the place, yeah. Yeah, it would go everywhere. And I'm, like, me and my drunken state, I'm, like, that's fucking cool. Right. You know? And so, like, because I didn't ever like smoking. But, like, when I was drunk, I'd bum a smoke from people all the time back then. So it'd be like, like, hey, what's up? Like, I'm a smoke, you know. But in this case, it was like some dude sitting in the bar, and I'm like, what is that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> and so I go sit down, and I'm like, I ordered a beer, and I'm just like, what? What are you smoking? Like, what is that? Is that a cigar? Like, what is that? that was like my first time seeing one of those huge fucking e cigs that people right. had. You know, the ones where they pour like the the resin in or whatever it is. Exactly what you're talking. About. <laughs> but uh, so uh, he starts talking to me, and he's like, "Yeah, he's like, it's like an e cig you can buy online. I, I modified it so it, it blows out more vapor." And I'm like, "That's so cool, you know." And um, so I start talking to this guy for a little bit. It's just like a, I can't remember what he said he did. I don't really remember anything about the dude. But um, I go back playing pool with Petsky for a while, and at this point, I, I think there was like some chicks involved. So like, I think Petsky was trying to hit on him. Um, this is not before this before he was married, married obviously yeah. sure. but or maybe he wasn't i don't even know I, I got pretty drunk but i remember going out and literally um as i was outside the guy was out there smoking the same dude i was talking about with the the e-cig the crazy one and i remember him being like yeah let's exchange numbers like you seem like a cool dude let's hang out sometime you know and i'm like i don't even know you from adam but like uh sure you, you know and i gave him my phone number and uh uh, he, I remember going back to Petsky's place, and for some reason, I remember him cooking us grilled cheeses. Petsky? Yeah, okay. it was really weird. Okay. Me and Jenny both passed out at his place. Okay. Actually, Jenny's, I probably shouldn't say that on your podcast. They slept in the same bed. You can no, edit that, you can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Who, no one knows what happened. Know. Well, that was back, you know, once upon a time before the marriage. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to have to ask him about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I slept on the couch. I passed right out. Right. And, uh, so, like, maybe fast forward another six months or so whenever snapchat comes out or whenever i get on snapchat essentially Fair enough. and so uh <laughs> and it's kind of weird because like i didn't think anything of it i do remember the next guy the next day the guy friend requested me on facebook and i'm like i never gave him my last name and my last name isn't even on facebook yeah. so that was kind of weird right. but maybe right. maybe through like the number you could do that yeah. i don't know yeah but um I remember him being like, sending me a Facebook message being like, hey, last that was awesome, let's do it again. You know, and I'm like, that's fucking weird. Yeah. At this point, I'm like, all right, no. And I just blocked the dude. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so anyways, fast forward again, six months, and then Snapchat first comes out. And I'm like, cool, Snapchat, you know, awesome. And uh, I remember one of the things on Snapchat it would do was access your contacts. Sure. Or well, remember six years ago or five years ago, whenever the story first started, I had added that person into my contacts as evil, evil person. Like not just one evils, it was like evil, evil, because they put my phone number on fucking Craigslist. I was How pissed. How did you have their number though? Like they didn't give you their number, right? They did. I'm oh, sorry. I'm doing... sorry. Okay, okay. Well, I'll, need to, I'll need to redo that because I did say they didn't give me their number. They did, but only after I bitched about it. Okay. So, so I did have a number. I'm sorry. Okay, that's cool. Um, <laughs> it was saved in my phone as evil, evil person. And then what Snapchat does is it connects people. So Facebook friends with other things. And I, I did block the guy, but like it still had all my contacts there. Sure. And so guess whose face I no saw way. on the Snapchat, the Snapchat thing is like people you may, you may know. And it was a that random dude at a bar, right? Random dude at a bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And it was like four years later, five years later. I don't even know how many years. Maybe it's like three or four. I think it's three or four years later. So I see the guy's face on the Snapchat thing. And it's not just like a face. You can do like emojis. Not emojis, but they had like, he had his face. It was like moving towards the camera. Oh, okay. And cool. I, just, I remember being like, who the fuck is Avatars. that? Avatars. Avatars, yeah. something like that. But it was the guy's face. 
No, it wasn't an avatar. It, it was, was a real picture was, of him. Okay. Oh, That's okay. how I knew. Okay. And so, like, I see the guy's picture on the Snapchat thing, and uh, I'm like, oh, no. You know, because at this point, he was a Facebook friend. I blocked the guy. Or maybe I didn't block him, but maybe I just, like, never responded to it. Right. I think that's probably more likely. Right. I see it as, it's his picture, and it says, evil, evil person. And I just freaked the fuck out. You must have, yeah, I said, you must have flipped. I flipped out. I called Pesky. I called, and I never called Pesky, you know. Right. But I'm like, dude, you will never believe what the fuck I just, like, just figured out. And I was like, that guy was the dude that I bitched about like three years ago catfishing me. Oh my God. The dude's dead. But how, how'd you find that out? Like, would you say Pesky, 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 Pesky stalked the guy. <laughs> Did he really? Because apparently they were, uh, he knew him on Facebook or something. I don't know. Because we all hung out. Like, we were sure, all like kind of hanging sure. out. We were, I don't know if he played pool, but he was like talking with us at one point. I wonder if he did the same thing to Pesky. Did, did, did he Maybe. as far as friend requesting? I don't know. I don't know. I just remember him being like, so I found the guy. Oh. And uh, he's like, by the way, he's dead. He died of a heart attack. Holy <laughs> shit. But so Pesky went on the guy's Facebook and apparently it was all about being like this lonely gay guy in Indianapolis. Yeah. And he's like this fat dude. And, like, yeah. so apparently what he did was like make up shit, being a beautiful girl. And I think, I really do believe he was one of the three guys was at the bar. The bar. Because he said he was there, you I know. I see where you're going with that. So when you went back, you looked around. There's no girls there. And it could So I flip out. You, you know, I'm pissed. I'm like, all right, this bitch is fucking with me now. I think he was one of the guys at the bar. And maybe he was just trying to, like, I don't know what he was trying to do. about that, though, too. Like, if he was one of the guys at the bar, he was probably there the whole time. Like, when you walked in he the might door, have been. he might have I don't been know. sitting there, watched you, ordered drinks, and then just, oh, my God, dude. But, like, because the story spans years... And I, I, again, I, I'm so sorry that I deleted that like literally like a month ago or so. Oh but, my God. Well, if I would have known you were doing the podcast, I would have no, saved it. No, no, that's you know? right. But I'm like, it's time. Yeah, yeah. Because you know? yeah, I, I, I used to have it on there for dates. When I, want, when I went on, I told the story. And I'm like, I know it sounds insane. And I know you probably don't believe me. Here's his picture. And here's the evil person. And so I'd show them. They're like, holy shit. No you, shit. You know? But yeah, man. And I'm like... I can't believe that fucking happened. I That's really can't. Un- like, I've heard a lot of stories. I've talked to <laughs> quite a few people. That might be the crazy. That is easily the craziest fucking story. Because it spans years. And yeah. I met the dude. Randomly. Yeah, randomly. randomly. Just yeah. randomly in the bar. Like, there's like in that area, there's at least 15 to 20 bars and a half a mile yes. radius. And you happen to be in. And he happened to be doing something crazy that made you go, huh, let me talk to this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being along for the ride of the Swipe Wrong Podcast, where we take everyday people like you and me telling their everyday stories of their swipe right life. show is produced by Jay Pelham. He is the host of Pelham Place. If you want to reach out to the show and tell us your story, we'd love to hear it. Give us a call. Google Voice us at 317-426-6616. Leave your information and we'll get back to you or just your story. You can also email us at swipewrongpod at gmail.com. We are on Insta. Facebook, TikTok, we're out there. I am Chaos, the host of Chaotic Commentary. You can find me pretty much anywhere that you see me. And next week, the saga continues. Swipe wrong. Swipe wrong.